validating food safety controls? But today we are going to discuss on most important area. We thought most of our friends engaged in food industry are in confusing with how to validate your process food safety controls. What we are taking on? Tasks that should be performed prior to the validation study. Codex Validation Steps 5 Approaches that can be used for validation How to validate a sanitation standard operating procedure Revalidation and finally Example, Work Heat Process Validation Before moving on to discussion, it is appropriate to establish the scope of this discussion with some explanatory definitions. First, Validation of a process is the collection of knowledge and experience that allows one to know how to produce a safe food product, which must allow identification of the potential hazards and concerns. It must also provide the tools and metrics for monitoring and controlling these hazards and concerns. As a result, food safety is ensured by developing, implementing, managing and improving processes used to produce safe food. Process control strategies and validation are critical to build both quality and safety attributes into food processes and products. HACCP has mandated the validation of CCPs since the introduction of the seven principles in 1989. The ISO 22000 and other GFSI recognized standards require formal validation of CCPs and operational prerequisite programs. In addition, cleaning and sanitizing programs must also be validated. Organizations must properly design, document, implement and maintain prerequisite programs, even if the standard does not specify a validation requirement for this part of the food safety system. Codex identified the following three tasks that should be performed prior to the validation study. 1. Identify the hazards that are intended to be controlled. 2. Identify the required food safety outcomes. 3. Identify the measures that are to be validated. In 2008, Codex Alimentarius published the standard guidelines for the validation of food safety control measures. T can be applied to many of the existing control measures, as it incorporates a five-step process that can be used for validation. The five steps are 1. Decide on the approach that will be used as a control measure. 2. Define the parameters and decision criteria that are capable of controlling the hazard to the specific outcome. 3. Collect any relevant information and conduct studies needed to fill any gaps in the relevant information. 4. Analyze the results. 5. Document the validation study. 5 Approaches The Codex standard recognizes 5 approaches that can be used for validation. Those approaches are 1. Reference to scientific and technical literature, previous validation studies or historic knowledge of process performance of the control measures. 2. Scientifically valid experimental data that demonstrate the adequacy of the control measures. 3. Collection of data during the food operation. 4. Mathematical modeling to assess how control measures affect the ability to achieve the intended results. 5. Statistically valid surveys. SSOP validation. The Codex Guidelines describe a validation scenario for a sanitation standard operating procedure SSOP. In this scenario, environmental monitoring samples were taken daily on food contact surfaces over a period of three to four weeks. The results of the environmental samples were then compared to established microbiological criteria. Statistical tests were used to determine the efficacy of the SSOPs. If the results met the established criteria, 
then the SSOP was considered to be validated. Revalidation Food processing conditions are always changing. As a result, the underlying assumptions for the production of safe food are changing as well. To meet this challenge, the food safety management system needs to be re-evaluated to ensure its effectiveness. The re-evaluation may lead to re-validation of some parts of the system. Potential issues that can trigger a re-validation include System failure Process and product changes Changes in the distribution system or customer handling practices New scientific or regulatory information Unanticipated problems Reoccurrences of problems Failure to identify the actual root cause of a problem Preventive control was not effective For an example, let us see the basic steps of heat process validation 1. Determining the target pathogen 2. Pathogen reduction 3. Verifying pathogen reduction. 4. Identifying HACCP controls and critical limits. 1. Determining the target pathogen. Target pathogen is most heat resistant pathogen, a public health significant, that is reasonably likely to occur in the product. To identify the target pathogen need complete description on finished product including Final packaging Storage Distribution If the process changes to pH, water activity and water phase salt or any combination of these in the final product, these changes may provide additional barriers that will affect the target pathogen chosen. Second step is determine the process time and temperature to achieve pathogen reduction. The heat process should typically design to achieve the 60 reduction. 3. Verifying the pathogen reduction. The effectiveness of a heat process depend on the three factors. How heat is distributed to the product within the heating vessel. The rate that heat penetrate into the product. How the target pathogen responds to the heat. 4. Identifying HACCP controls and critical limits. Critical limits may be based on other factors besides time and temperature. Critical limits are based on the factors defined at the heat distribution study and the process equipment. Records of validation procedures and studies should include Method used to establish D-value Heat resistance and penetration data Temperature distribution data Verification of the final process Validation is becoming a standard practice throughout the food industry. Proper validation studies not only ensure that the process parameters or prerequisite programs properly control a hazard, but they also provide confidence to the food processor's customers that the food safety system has been designed to ensure that foods are safe. Thanks for watching, see you soon and don't forget to subscribe our channel. Food Desk, it is all about food.